Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session today. Today I will show you how to deploy a Spring Boot web service in EC2 and connect DynamoDB. This tutorial is actually the part 2 of Spring Boot web service with DynamoDB database. In our part 1, Spring Boot web service with Dynamo database, I have shown that how to create that Spring Boot web service from scratch. In AWS Tech Guide YouTube channel, you can see the Spring Boot web service with DynamoDB database. This is the tutorial video which I was talking as the part 1 video. So let's proceed to our part 2 where I will be showing you how to deploy the Spring Boot jar in EC2 instance and test get and post operations. Now inside the Spring Boot application in your workspace just build this project. It has done. So now go to targets and inside target you get this jar created already. Well so to deploy in our AWS EC2 instance we have to deploy this jar. Now let's go to our AWS EC2 instance. Let me go to AWS EC2 instance. In AWS EC2 instance, we'll be creating one new instance. Suppose I'm clicking on launch instance, selecting Amazon Linux AMI, configure instance, using with everything by default. Selecting one security group which has all traffic access. Basically, it is not recommended to allow all traffic access because in this case, you will need two things in under security group. One is SSH connection and second one is HTTP. So you can just add those two roles. But to make it quickly, I am just using all traffic. Now just review and launch selecting my already existing key pair and done. Now just renaming this instance. Now our basic task will be copying that Spring Boot jar into this EC2 instance. So once it is being initializing, let me copy its public DNS and open putty. I have my key pair configured. So I am just using my super putty to connect to this newly created EC2 instance and just doing one yum update now our instance has been updated now let me check the java version because we have created the spring boot application in java 1.8 so we have the java version which is 1.7 and we have to install java let's do sudo yum install java 1.8.0 sorry it was my spelling mistake java 1.8.0 this installing java it has installed java clearing the screen now check the java version and i am still getting java 1.7 because the java 1.7 is set as default so we have to change this default thing so let me do sudo update alternatives config java and we see that we have 1.7 and 1.8 both installed so i am selecting second one and now check java and we have set 1.8 as default perfect now let's list in this location and we see we don't have anything in this location but we have to copy our spring boot jar in this location so let's copy that so to copy that i am i will be first uploading our spring boot jar in s3 bucket you can create a simple bucket in S3 or you can use the existing bucket. You upload your jar in S3, make that bucket public and do a wget from that bucket 
to this instance. going to my instance and doing a wget paste this and it has downloaded as you see that it has downloaded now since it has a big name of this jar so i'm just renaming it to make it shorter it doesn't mean what name you give it just to make it shorter now list it yeah it has become app.jar we have renamed it now clearing the screen Now our next step is run this jar, means run this Spring Boot app in EC2 instance. So do java-jar app.jar, enter. And it has started running the Spring Boot application. As you see that it is showing started test DynamoDB application. Now we have to copy the IP the public IP which is IPv4 public IP we have copied it now let's go our port number is 8080 which is the by default slash transaction slash we are doing a gate operation because we have already one record inserted in DynamoDB so let's go to DynamoDB and we are just copying this transaction ID and we are pasting over here. Now do enter and it is showing this records from DynamoDB and as you see this is the IP of the EC2 instance. So the web service, Spring Boot web service which we have deployed inside the EC2 instance it is running perfectly fine. It is connecting to DynamoDB and fetching record from there. So if we do the same thing, suppose I am copying this public IP 8080 and the transaction and going to the postman and I want to post one more record, then that's why I am just replacing it and clicking on the body and making something different. Suppose making it two transaction number two and amount is suppose 99 and customer id is c2 and click on send it's showing record inserted successfully so let's go to our dynamo db and we have the next record also inserted successfully transaction number two amount 99 customer c2 so hope this tutorial has helped you to know how to create one Spring Boot application to do operations with DynamoDB and how to deploy one Spring Boot application in, in EC2 instance. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any query, please write in the comment box and I will be sharing the whole source code in this video description. Thank you. See you in our next session.